Hello guys and welcome to the video for print VR debug string. Uh, that in that video I will cover how to print a string correctly inside of virtual reality. For the moment, uh, what we have is a system that is not really well made for VR, and we want to correct that, or we want to to make another system. So. I am here inside of the uh, VR template inside of the motion controller map and I just uh, open my motion controller pawn blueprint and I that comes with all those nodes, all those functionality for teleporting and stuff and I will just show you what the print string for the moment looks like so if I put it like on event begin play I want to print the string uh, I will add another pin at the sequence here that won't do anything but just print that screen and I will let it print hello compile that and play that in VR so sorry just so you can see I will just let the duration to 10 okay and now if I look at it into the virtual reality, I can't see anything. I can turn my head all over and there is nothing. So, uh, that's because the print string actually prints, but it doesn't fit well the screen of the headset. If I run it again, as you can see, I can't see anything. If I quit, I can see it here inside of my viewport so the proof is that it's actually printing but not in the right way if you want to print something you could actually make something like happened and add like with shift and enter um, like 30 uh, spaces like this one two three, four, five, nine, like like this like when the scroll bar arrives at the half of the box and then you can print your hello and that should work yeah it actually work and I can see it inside of the VR but that's not good because as soon as you want to put two like this for example if I copy that like this no I won't do it like that because it's so dirty like so and I want to print two hello what I will have is this only one hello because the second one also jumps 30 lines and prints the hello thing is that if I want to hello I should do it like that and here no I don't actually see another hello uh, I don't really know why but yeah that was but what happens so if you don't want to do that you should create actually you can do whatever you want but I have a, a little solution is to create like a console like a, uh, a 3d console inside of the world that can uh, show you all of your strings that can print you all the strings you want and that accessible from every single blueprint uh, object inside of the of the game so I'll jump right to another project to show you the final result. So here I'm back inside of another project where you can see the actual debug console here in front of me, which is a part of my pawn. And if I run play, I set three functions inside of my pawn. Add event tick, I can print a VR string that says hello. If I get world delta second, it's to not be spawn, to, to not be spam, I'm sorry. And uh, if I press T, I will print a string, T is pressed in green for two seconds. And spacebar will print uh, space is pressed in red for 0.1 second. I run it. I have this here. The default is another thing. And if I press the T key, 
you see t is pressed if i press space space is pressed and it disappears really quick because it's only last for 0 0.1 and so that's it and you can see the text disappears the hello doesn't disappear because it's called at each tick and uh, as um getting just a world data second for its duration it only lasts for one frame if i put it to um i don't know 0 0.1 for example i will be spam like this so let's jump back to the other project and build it from scratch and let me show you how i did it <laughs> 